Lovable just dropped their 2.0 update, which is now more smarter. It has multiplayer support as well as it is more secure. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about all the features that this new update has. The brand new UI, the multiplayer feature, as well as the chat mode agent that is brand new in the 2.0 update. We also have a security scan feature in this update and a dev mode. And I'll be diving in depth with this dev mode, how you can actually utilize this dev mode to power boost your wipe coding. Then we have this amazing visual address feature where you can visually edit any style in Lovable faster and more precisely. And at the end, we have the feature for custom domains, which was much needed. So without further chatter, let's dive right in. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is Hoshim Shamrez, and we're finally getting started with this video. So signing up with Lovable is really easy. I've signed up using my Google account. You can go ahead and sign up your Google account or your email address. It's really up to you. So let's get started with these updates. As for the first update that they have is this brand new UI. So as you can see, the UI is different as compared to the previous version. If you have used Lovable before or if you haven't, you can go ahead and watch our video on Lovable. So Lovable has a more clean logo and a more clean design right over here. We have creations from the community right here and we have this really minimalistic yet easy to get into UI. So let's say I want to create a landing page for a fundraiser for cancer affected children in underdeveloped countries. And if I go ahead and hit enter, it should actually start designing it and coding it. So there you go, it started working on my idea. So it took a couple of minutes, that's why I skipped the video. So as you can see, it went on and it actually made a plan for this. So for the first version, it's gonna implement a few key features, one of which is going to be a compelling hero section with an emotional headline and a call to action. Then there is a stat section, how we help section, donation component, and much more. And while it was creating a build of this, it encountered an error. And I know why, because we did not connect our super base. And as you can see, all user accounts or processing donations are going to be in a database. That's why we need Superbase. And Superbase is one of the developer options here. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect my Superbase. And here, all you have to do is just connect Superbase. And that's how easy it is. You just have to authorize Lovable and that should do. But if you don't have a Superbase account, you can just go ahead to superbase.com and create your account with ease. I have created my account using my GitHub. So it's linked to my GitHub as well. But you can create your account using GitHub or your email as well. So the choice is yours. So once you connect your account, it should look something like this. And you can see I have this project. So I have to connect this lovable project to a Superbase project. So let's just click on connect and there you go. We can connect and that's it. Now lovable can go ahead and do all of these actions. And as soon as I configured my Superbase, you can see lovable started working on the error and trying to fix this error. So I can just click on try to fix. Lovable is actually working on the present code and trying to get the error resolved. And there you go, we have our results. So the website name goes like hope for little ones. We have uh, our mission, impact, stories and contact. Also donate now button over here. And as you can see, it has really, really good animations and a really good design. I really like the typography here. We have some stats right over here. And then we have a short description of our mission. And then we have a donation section and the story of hope or testimonials, which is really great. And then we have the contact section at the end of the website and a footer. It was generated only with one prompt that I gave it. And this is really amazing. I don't know if you can understand the implications of this, but vibe coding is just getting crazier and crazier by the day. So now we have everything that we wanted. So we can actually go ahead and deploy this. But before deploying it, we're going to go ahead and explore different features with this update. So the next feature of this update is going to be multiplayer. Now you must be wondering what is multiplayer in Lovable. So you can go ahead to this invite button over here and you can invite different people from your team to collaborate with you. Although this feature is only available for their pro plan and their team's plan, it is not available on their free plan. So for that, you will have to use either their pro plan or their team plan. Another feature that just came out with this 2.0 update is this chat mode agent. Now, what is this chat mode agent? Now, this new chat mode agent is basically telling Lovable that now we're gonna go into the planning mode so you cannot play around with the code. Do not change anything in the code, but have a conversation with me and plan out stuff for my website or for my project. So this way we can reduce errors that are caused by multiple iterations as well as it is more smarter now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ask it what I can do to actually increase donation success ratio. So I'm gonna ask it what can I do with this website to increase donation ratio and I hit enter. 
So it's going to go in chat mode. Now it's not going to go and code. It's not going to change the website or edit the code. It's actually going to go and read all the code and give me a summary and also a suggestion of what we should do with this website to get our desired results. So there you go. It has the strategies to increase donation ratio. One is to optimize the donation form, then enhance emotional connection, improve user experience, create urgency and incentives, strengthen trust signal. So once you're done planning, what you can do is you can disable this chat mode, ask Lovable to implement all of these suggestions. So I'm just going to go ahead and say implement the above suggestions and incorporate the changes in this website and hit enter. So this should go ahead and implement all the changes that I suggested, the strategies and redo this website. So let's wait for the results. So there you go. The update is completed. So it enhanced the donation form. It also went on and added the urgency with a limited time and it improved the impact section with progress bars and urgent cases as well as expanded testimonials then it added social proof with recent donor activity so let's scroll down and check out these sections so this is the urgent needs section this looks really really good i can click on help today so this is building up the emotional connection with the people who are going to donate then we have the donation form so it's updated with the time deadline and also these two options here one time gift monthly support and we also have uh, some stats right over here then we have the testimonials section then we have this recent supporters section where we can see recent supporters so this is more like the leaderboard of supporters who actually donated something and with that done i think this is really really cool i can actually go ahead and give this to an ngo who's working for this cause and make an impact in this society and it only took me five to ten minutes to build this website right so this is how powerful vibe coding is now for the next feature i'm going to talk about added so if you click on added feature right over here and you can select any element on the screen you can select any text you can select a heading or select a whole component if you want to so i'm just going to go ahead and select this heading over here and as you can see on the left side i can change the content of this heading whatever it is i can change the margin I can change the padding as well as I can change the font size. So let's say I want to go bigger. So 5 pixel, 6 pixel, or if I want to go small, so I can go 2 pixel. It's really up to you. So I'm just going to go ahead 5 pixel over here. And if you don't like the bold weight here, you can go with semi bold or even go with thin right over here. It's really up to you. But I'm just going to go with extra bold. There you go. And you can change the color, whatever you want. You can go with this black color or you can go with this white color over here. It's really up to you. So this is how you can actually go ahead and edit anything visually. For those really small and tiny updates, you don't have to go ahead and make some prompts and raise your credits. You can use this added feature, make those small precise updates yourself. We have the alignment feature right over here. And if you click on advanced, we can actually go ahead and give it CSS if you want to, to duplicate the design you want in the code. And once you're done, you can just save and this will save that inside your code base. So this this was another powerful feature for this 2.0 update and by far this is not the only powerful feature we also have this dev mode so this dev mode is actually the code of view i can see all the files right over here as well as the content of the files and if i want to update these files i have to set up and sync with github so for that we can just go and click on this github icon right over here and connect github and for those of you who don't have github you can just go to github.com and create your account it would look something like this and then you can go ahead and connect your github and you can authorize level.dev that's all it needs to do and it can replicate and sync this project to my github account as soon as i connected my github account it actually transferred this project over at my github account and i can view this project on my github which is right over here so i have the hope for little ones right here let me zoom in a bit and I also have this readme md to get started with this project and that's how you can utilize this dev mode connected with your github and sync your code base effortlessly. So after the dev mode and the visual edits update we have another update which is this custom domains update. So what is this custom domain? So if you go to publish to publish your project you can see that we used to have this free domain which ends at lovable.app and we can publish or project at this domain by clicking right over here. But what if we have our own custom domain? How are we going to deploy this to our custom domain with one click? So for that, what you need to do is just go to manage and you can add your own domain by clicking here. But for that, you would need the pro plan as if you click here, it's going to ask you to upgrade to the pro plan. And you can even go ahead and buy a domain by clicking here. It should take you to one of the domain providers out there. 
once you have your domain set up, you can actually go ahead and deploy this on your custom domain. So with that said, I think we're done with all the features with this new update. And all in all, this was a really massive update by Lovable. And this tool is really lovable by Wipe Coders. And to be honest, I would highly suggest all of you to give it a shot. And I bet you will be amazed by the results that it can give with a single prompt. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.